Lamborghini has gone from elegant and clean lines to raw and crazy, back to elegant and clean, and now we're currently in a raw and crazy state yet again. What I want to do in this video is think about what if this crazy explosions of SUVs would have happened, say, 10, 15 years ago. What would a Lamborghini Urus look like if it came out in 2003? So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Welcome back to the channel, it's the Sketch Monkey here, and we're gonna redesign the Lamborghini Urus to make it look like it's in the same era as the Lamborghini Murcielago and the Gallardo, of course. A time when Lamborghini had been bought by Audi and Luke Donkerwalke was starting to sketch out these ideas for the flagship, the Murcielago and the smaller Gallardo. And he is the same guy who designed the Hyundai Kona. So if you see some resemblance in the Kona to the Murcielago, you know why. It's the same designer. <laughs> anyway, I want to show you the Murcielago right here and show you how simple Lamborghini was back in the day. Or this is not even that long ago. So he went from kind of the 60s uh, Lamborghini's traditional Italian styling and then we come to the 70s with the Countach where he goes totally nuts with the styling and then back to this era say mid early 2000s mid 2000s and then now we're kind of back to the super crazy designs with the Sian and the standard Aventador as well which I'm gonna show you but the thing here with Lamborghini is they've always nailed the line flow in every single vehicle they have and that's one of the reasons why they can add almost an over styling sense to their design but still when you look at the car you still get some sort of harmony in the body panels and the lines and that has all to do with the line flow and having the same angles occur in different areas of the car so without you even recognizing it, you're still seeing a pattern within the car. And I'm gonna show you more about that when we talk about the Aventador. But here we have the Murcielago. So I just want to show you the simple graphics and the simple surfaces that was used when they created this car. When Luke Donkervolk was sketching all of these insane, crazy, awesome looking sketches. And just imagine how much fun it must have been when Audi was when Lamborghini was bought by Audi. Luke Donkervolk getting the job to design the first two Lamborghinis under the Audi brand. And he had so much resources behind him with the Audi brand. So he can brainstorm a lot. And I love to look back at these old sketches and see all the single ideas and know notes by the side of the sketches to really get into the mind of what he was thinking when he was sketching these things. So the thing with Lamborghini has always been that they are super super strict with their basic DNA. If you look at the cars in a side view you instantly recognize them as Lamborghinis and the reason for that is because of the, the proportions that they have in each and every model that they've made up since the 2002-2003 era with the Murcielago and the Gallardo. So the Murcielago here is a very sleek looking car. It looks complex because of all the angles that's in this car but if you really look at all the panels of this car it's a simple design. Just look how little is actually going on in the hood here. There is not a lot of lines, not a lot of craziness going on here. Same with this line right here. Same with the side here and of course down here as well. And same goes for the Gallardo which is also a almost simpler design although we have an air intake here now instead of here in the bottom which you have on the Murcielago but it's still a very clean design. But people think about now Lamborghini being this crazy brand that almost overstyles their cars and in some way I can kind of see that it's heading towards that direction but it really doesn't matter because they're doing it in a very great way which means that they are keeping the proportions and the, the, the line flow inside of the design of the car and that is what brings out a quality design even though you have a bunch of lines going on in the car. A bad example about this is the DC Avanti for example and a more high class brand would be the Fenrir Supersport or the Hyper like and Hypersport. Those cars are very expensive, a lot of lines going on but it looks like it's three cars put together into one and there is no connection between the front 
the middle and the rear section and Lamborghini does this very very well. Before we go into the Urus redesign here or <laughs> retro design or whatever you want to call it, I want to show you the Huracan and the Aventador as well. So the Huracan here still it's it's a very good development from the Gallardo. We still have this line that is typical Lamborghini which you can't mistake for anything else. The typical thing with Lamborghini is, is that you have almost a single curvature that goes from the rear and he never really dips for the hood here. You can see that it's almost a straight line up to the windshield up to the top of the roof and then it dips down like this. So it's almost like a bug. And another thing with Lamborghini when you compare it to a Ferrari for example in this side view is that the A pillar is stretched so far ahead in the Lamborghini compared to the Ferrari. If you look at a Ferrari from the side you're gonna see that the A pillar dips kind of here somewhere and then you have a more rounded glass but on the Lamborghinis they have a almost flat windshield which allows for creating or stretching the A pillar all the way up until almost the center point on top of the front axle and that of course gives it a very very chiseled look like it like it's tip of the spear and then of course we have the Aventador and here we have some more styling going on than the Huracan and it's okay because look at all the angles that reoccurs all over this car we have this angle right here comes again right here and then we have this line from the back going into this graphic right here as you can see follows all the way down here and then of course the main lines which is this shoulder line dips into the front bumper right here so it's a beautiful line flow here the bug line is still here which means we have the continuous line like this going all the cross the roof of the car which is a very beautiful typical Lamborghini line and to me the Aventador even though it has a lot of angles a lot of styling going on in the body it's still a beautiful car to me and this the simple reason for that is the line flow so to, line flow to, to put it simply I want to explain it to you what I mean when I say line flow because I know I talk about it a lot it's like imagine someone throwing a football from this point right here throwing it over here somewhere to the rear then you want something to catch that trajectory on the other side of the wheel or whatever is is in between these two points so if he throws this ball here we need to have it be caught by someone here so we want to have a continuous line that goes from one point to the other that follows the natural progression or the natural trajectory of the line or the thing being thrown over the design element same thing here we have this line which is cut right here but then it's it's lost all the way here but we need to have it be brought back at the other end with this point right here which then continues into the shoulder line like this and the more points you have like this the better the higher the quality of the car design in my opinion of course all right so what do we need to do here if we want to turn the Lamborghini Urus into a car from the 2003 4 5 era when these cars were the top of the line of the Lamborghini brand, the Gallardo and the Murcielago right here. Well, we obviously are going to have to reduce a lot of the styling and reduce a lot of graphic areas and features of the Urus and bring back that simplicity but keeping the overall proportions of the car. The challenge here is Lamborghini didn't have an SUV at that time. They did have the LM back in, I can't remember when, 80s or something like that, 70s maybe. And they didn't have a, an SUV or an off-roader in the 2000s. So it's, it's a bit of a challenge to come up with the proportions of the car. So I'm gonna keep the proportions of the Urus but just restyle the whole car, reduce the styling and introduce some 2000s Murcielago Gallardo styling onto this body and these proportions. So let's do that and let's see how that is going to turn out.
Well, 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 there we have it. This is my design of what the Lamborghini Urus would have looked like if it was introduced in 2004, let's say. If you look at this, you can see that it took away a lot of the lines, the styling features of the car that's in the car that kind of seems too much for that time period. If you look at the Lamborghini Murcielago here, for example, and look at this intake here, it's basically a rectangle like this with two rectangles inside of it that makes up the air intake and that is the front bumper of this car and then we have a very simple surface right here which is almost flat we have a little bit of curvatures right here something like that but still a very flat almost a low polygon model of a car same goes for the Gallardo right here we have a straight line in the front we haven't reached the point where we have a, a bit of a pointy nose like we have on the I think the later generations Gallardo as well the LPs started to introduce this more uh, more pointy the nose but this the first generation which we want to take inspiration from because that's the time period we want to have our Urus be designed in you can see that it's a straight line and almost the same as the Murcielago we have two a bit more stylized rectangle here because we have an angle here and it's not straight line like this but still a very very simplistic design same thing with the side here it's just a panel like this there's nothing going on so I had to remove some of the parts down here on the Urus and I also love these first gen Gallardo wheels so I wanted to add those on the Urus I think it looks pretty cool like this it looks weird it looks very weird because I'm not used to seeing a Lamborghini, I mean who is? Who is used to seeing a Lamborghini SUV from this time period? But I think it turned out correctly when, he, when we think about the styling of that time. And I also think the wheels actually fit this Urus pretty well. I'm the Sketch Monkey, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Take care.